Yo, what is going on everyone in the crypto space? Today I am going to be over going to be going over how you can buy XRP using my Coinbase and Bittrex method. Um, I prefer this method for beginners of cryptocurrency because these two exchanges are the most beginner friendly sites I have ever used. I have used a plethora of exchanges like Bitstamp, Poloniex, GDAX, um, Yobit, Binance, and by far Coinbase and Bittrex. If you use these two exchanges to purchase XRP, I can guarantee you that it is much easier than using any other exchange because these exchanges are really big and they are known for being incredibly user friendly for the average Joe who is not invested in cryptocurrency. Now I'm going to be going over the real basics on how to do it. I'm not going to go in depth and create an account, verify my phone number, link a bank to show you guys on each and every single step, but I'm going to explain to you how this process works. I'm going to ex show you where you need to navigate on the website and what you need to get done in order. And then I'm going to show you how to convert your US dollars to cryptocurrency, then convert that cryptocurrency into XRP. Now, XRP is not listed on Coinbase, but us Ripple holders are hoping for that in 2018. Now, before we get started, um, if you have not created a Coinbase account yet, if you click on this link, it is at the top of the description on all my videos. If you if you sign up through this link and spend um, over a hundred dollars on crypt on any cryptocurrency on the site, you will actually get ten dollars of free Bitcoin, and I will earn ten dollars of free Bitcoin as well. So I'm not the only one who makes a commission. We both end up getting free Bitcoin, which is a win-win for both of us. Now, once you um, create your account, validate your email, you're going to want to come over to the Buy and Sell tab. And validate your phone number. Um, after you validate your email, it's most likely going to ask you to validate your phone number as well, but just in case you exit out of that, just come to this tab and it'll tell you to validate your phone number. After that, you want to come over to settings, and then right here it says you can enable a USD wallet on your account by verifying your identity. So uh, when you click this right here, it's just going to ask you to fill out some basic information and it's going to ask you what you're using the site for, date of birth, address, that kind of thing. So once you get that done, you want to hop over to the dashboard and go ahead and make your way down. Uh, yes, that's how much Bitcoin I have in here. This is just off of affiliate. Um, so that's that. I mean, it's not a huge account or anything. So if you're a hacker, don't get too excited. So then after you enable your phone number, click add a payment method. Now you can use three different methods. You can use the bank account and wire transfer, which is for in uh, large amounts. Let's say, I'd say a thousand dollars and up, you would want to use a bank account or a wire transfer. Um, also, you can do a credit or debit card. Um, this process is very quick, but the fees are a bit higher. But if you're doing a large amount, I would suggest doing bank account or wire transfer. Now, I'm not actually going to list a uh, link a bank account. So if you just click on it, you end up selecting your bank. Let's say I use Bank of America, and then you type in your account information and then it'll link your bank account. Also, if you click on wire transfer, it asks you to verify your ID as well, so you're going to need to get that done. If you want to use a credit or debit card, it's going to ask you to verify your identity by uploading a picture of your ID. Now, this does seem a bit sketchy to some people kind of giving away your like the last four of your social security or uploading pictures of your ID. Now, I can understand why that seems um, kind of sketchy to some people, but I can assure you the reason why I have $56 in my Coinbase account is that is all my affiliate earnings. That is all from people who have clicked on the Coinbase link and have bought cryptocurrency, so you know it's legit. Coinbase is a huge exchange. They have a really good reputation. This is a legitimate site. I have had friends that have bought Bitcoin using this site, and my dad has actually bought a um, couple, he's, he's bought um, Bitcoin before by using a credit card on our other account. So once you get all that done, and so after you link your bank or whatever, it's going to guide you through the steps as what you need to give the website uh, to complete the transaction and what you're going to need to do on your end to complete the transaction. Like I said, it is very user friendly, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. If it is kind of hard for you to figure out, um, go ahead and look at some other YouTube videos like a really in-depth on how to do it or just look at some forums online 
but I don't think most of you guys will have trouble with this because this site is very user friendly. So once you end up getting Bitcoin credited or once you get cryptocurrency or no, once you get your US dollars credited to your cryptocurrency account, make sure to either buy Litecoin or Ethereum. Now this is not the sake for investing or trading for a profit. This is the sake of moving funds. Right now, Bitcoin transaction fees are upwards of $14 and $15 because the blockchain is so loaded that transaction times are taking upwards of a day and fees are taking up like $10 and up. So do not buy Bitcoin with your US dollars. I would really suggest buying Litecoin because it's essentially a way better version of Bitcoin. But I'm not saying to buy Litecoin to invest or make money, but just the sake of transferring funds. Now, um, so yeah, make sure to go ahead and buy Litecoin. Now, once you have your Litecoin, you're going to want to, um, so let's say for the sake of this example, let's say I'm sending funds on my Bitcoin wallet. Now, you're going to enter the address of your Bittrex account. So here, here is the name of the website right here. Uh, go ahead and make an account. But um, while you're watching this video, the time that it takes you to make um, on your, to verify your Coinbase account and verify your credit card and bank information, it is gonna take quite a bit because the crypto market has had so much volume coming in lately that a lot of exchanges are backed up. And I also wanted to bring this topic up about Bittrex is not accepting new users right now but they are working on it. So I'm pr predicting within the next week, you will be able to make a Bittrex account. But while you're waiting for your identity and bank account to be verified on Coinbase, um, by that time it's done, Bittrex will probably be accepting new users. Um, this is just because of the huge volume overload in the market. So nothing to worry about. You're just gonna have to be a little patient here. So let's say I want to move Litecoin from my Coinbase account into my Bittrex account. But I'm just gonna be using, it's, it's all the same layout right here and everything, it shows exactly the same thing, but just pretend right here it's my Bit, or my Litecoin wallet. So on Bittrex you would click on the wallet tab and you click on the minus on Litecoin. Or no, you'd click the plus on Litecoin, my bad. So you take this address here, go ahead and copy that. You need to copy that letter for letter, you could lose funds. So then you enter your Litecoin address as the recipient, and then you type in the amount of US dollars, the amount of Bitcoin, or the amount of Litecoin that you're wanting to send, and you would go ahead and just click continue, and then it would end up sending. But like I said, pretend that this is the Litecoin wallet, not the Bitcoin wallet, because I don't have any Litecoin to bring up the screen, but like I said, this screen is exactly the same. So you just put your Litecoin deposit address, which you achieve by pressing the plus sign and it brings this up. So you take this address and place it into the recipient and then you choose how much of the Litecoin you wanna send. Then you'll go ahead and send it. It should take maybe 20 to 30 minutes uh, because the market is overloaded and a lot of blockchains are backed up. So once your Litecoin is deposited, in your Bittrex account. Click on the Bitcoin logo markets tab and then type in LTC. Now what you want to do here, uh, see like I said this platform is very user friendly. Uh, don't worry about this graph or anything. This is just for the people who want to use technical analysis. So all you would do now is now let's say your Litecoin was in your account. You would click on max to sell because um, you want to get rid of all your Litecoin and then since you're selling it you want to take since you're not doing this for profit or investment in any way um, go ahead and copy this number right here and then place it right there and then click sell Litecoin so once you've done that the order will complete and then you will have BTC available. Now, once you have your Bitcoin available, you would go ahead and type in XRP. Let 
and then now you want to come over to this area right here where you want to buy Ripple and then you would take your Bitcoin and then you would press maximum because you want to put all your Bitcoin into XRP and then since you are not doing this for trading or profit uh, at the moment you do want to hold it long term um, highlight this number right here and then paste it into there because you just want to go ahead and pay what the market is asking for so now I'll actually go ahead and buy some ripple right now okay well actually never mind I don't have enough but basically once you click this right here it's official you are a ripple investor um, I hope after you buy ripple you do hold it that is just my opinion I'm not a financial advisor but in the long run very good potential for this coin now I know this process seems very complicated but um, you can really if you just look around the website and get a feel for it make sure you read everything that it's saying follow its instructions it's very user friendly I mean I've made five affiliate sales and all these people have figured it out on their own so I mean it can't be too hard it is a very user friendly site which is why I'm recommending it to you guys now sending it over to another exchange um, that part I can understand is confusing but if you're confused on how to send your Litecoin or Ethereum or Bitcoin whichever one you want to choose I just recommend Litecoin because it's the cheapest and fastest but whatever cryptocurrency you have on here <clears throat> if you have trouble sending it or if you're confused from sending it here to here please just email me I'm so glad to help I may not be able to respond right away but I, I will definitely be able to help you within the next 48 hours or probably that same day most likely so yeah guys these exchanges very user friendly you can really navigate your way around it all you'd have to do is just follow the steps in the video to actually transfer your cryptocurrency into XRP and how to send that currency from Coinbase to Bittrex so thank you guys so much for watching this check out the links in the description if you want to support the channel get a Ledger Nano S for yourself to actually store your cryptocurrency from hackers um, once I finally order mine, I will be doing an unboxing and review and how to use it so you can store your Ripple offline because you do not want your Ripple that has so much potential to get in the hands of hackers. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And again, if you are confused about anything in this process, um, if the site is not user-friendly enough for you, please feel free to contact me. Go to the About tab of my YouTube channel and I will help you out with buying your XRP at no cost. Thank you guys for watching this. Stay trading and stay investing. I will see you in the next video.